A few days ago, Instagram released IGTV, Instagram's brand new video platform. Unlike YouTube, Instagram is a mobile-only platform, so naturally its main focus is vertical video. If you just take your YouTube video and upload it to Instagram TV, and I'll quote MKBHD, it's a great example from GoPro of what not to do on IGTV. While not an ideal place to share your latest edit, with just over 1 billion users, Instagram TV may be a platform worth exploring. And if you are going to take the time to try out this new platform, it's worth it to optimize your video for it. Let's take a look at how to create videos for Instagram TV in Final Cut Pro. First, let's take a look at IGTV's upload requirements. Videos must be between 15 seconds and 10 minutes long, with up to 60 minute videos for larger creators, and must be in an MP4 file format. Videos should also be vertical, not landscape, with a minimum aspect ratio of 4 by 5 and a maximum of 9 by 16. Also, the max file size for your videos that are 10 minutes or less is 650 megabytes, so 4K video is not the best option. With that in mind, let's jump into Final Cut Pro and create a video for Instagram TV. First thing we need to do is create a new project for our video. From the menu bar select File, New and Project. Give your project a name, select the event you want it in and if your project window looks like mine, click the Use Custom Settings button. Next, from the Video Format drop down menu select Custom. Let's use Instagram's recommended aspect ratio of 9 by 16. For an HD video, enter 1080 by 1920 and select 24 frames per second to keep your file size down. Leave the rest of the settings as they are and press OK. Now when you add a video to your project, unless it was filmed as a vertical video, you will have these big black bars on top and bottom. And your image itself is tiny. To optimize this video for IGTV, you'll have to scale in on your video. There's two ways of doing this. First, you can use the transform tool to zoom in on your clip and reposition the clip to frame it. Another option is using Final Cut Pro spatial conform parameters. First, let's reset the transform parameters by clicking on the hooked arrow in the inspector. Next, scroll down to the bottom of the inspector window and from the spatial conform type drop down menu, select fill. Final Cut Pro will adjust your image size to fill the entire frame. Now, instead of a tiny video with black bars on top and bottom, you have a vertical video optimized for viewing on mobile devices. There will be times though when you want to share a current project to your Instagram TV or maybe even make a video for both YouTube and Instagram. To optimize an HD project for Instagram TV, first right click on the project in the browser and make a copy of it. Next, with your IGTV project selected, in the inspector click the modify button in the info tab. In the project window, change your video format to custom and swap the resolution numbers around. Next, reformat your video clips to fit the vertical window and make sure to resize any titles or generators in your video. You can now export this video as a master file and in the settings window, select the H.264 video codec. And last, to upload this video to Instagram, since it's a mobile only platform, you have to send the video to your phone. I prefer to use AirDrop, but any other sharing method should work just as well. So what do you think? Will you join the vertical video movement and use IGTV? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you're new here, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos uploaded weekly, so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week.